23-year-old Portland man is hoping to change the lives of people who can't afford prosthetic limbs. Uh, he made his own. He did it for just $40. Now he wants to use that technology to make prosthetics affordable for everyone. Cor Harlan is going beyond the headlines tonight. Disruptive new 3D printing technology has arrived and it has been embraced by a Portland man who was born without a left hand who hopes to turn the market for human prosthetics on its head. One of the, the biggest things is being able to manipulate something with actually having a hand free. Jordan Nickerson is flexing his new homemade prosthetic hand. The yellow part of the hand is corn plastic, fingers made from carbon fiber. Throw in some nylon string, rubber bands, Velcro, and a cut up mouse pad. It's about $40 worth of material and all, and you have what Jordan hopes will be the prosthetic of the future. Jordan hopes to sell this prosthetic to millions of people without hands and legs worldwide. He tells me he plans on selling this model for just $300, and that's a fraction of the cost of a traditional prosthetic. The number one issue is they don't have them because they, they don't have the prosthetics because they can't afford them. And this is going to completely annihilate that because, uh, yeah, he's now... Um, if you can buy an Xbox, you can buy this. The idea for the hand is revolutionary enough, but the way it's made is something that wasn't even imaginable several years ago. The yellow plastic, the carbon fiber fingers have all been whipped up with the use of 3D printers. It works a lot like a hot glue gun is the best way to describe it. It's just uh, the filament goes to the top down, down the extruder and sits on a plate and it just builds up layer by layer. Jordan's now able to do simple things like peel an orange or even hold a simple bottle of water. Down the road, he hopes to develop an app that can scan the extremity of the arm, send an image to a 3D printer, and then build a completely customized hand for whoever needs one. In Portland, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News.